The team is called the Savannah Bananas. 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 It's unbelievable. Only MLB clubs can provide many sold out events, dramatic opening ceremonies, and completely crowded stadiums. The Savannah Bananas are history makers. P.T. Barnum said, without promotion, something terrible happens. Nothing. The Savannah Bananas go on tours like real musicians when they aren't shutting down venues and performing theatrical opening performances. But how unique is this baseball team? Or better still, an entertainment team. Imagine Michael Jackson dancing in front of thousands of people. Yes, the Savannah Bananas are pretty similar to that. The opening day of the baseball season provides an opportunity to reflect on the arrival of spring, the childhood pleasures of skipping school in favor of a trip to the ballpark, and for the Savannah Bananas, it's nothing but pure entertainment. Their shows are worth talking about. We'll be looking at the Savannah Bananas in today's video and how they've remained the media's most lovable team and successfully put on fantastic displays. The Savannah Bananas are a professional baseball team from Savannah, Georgia. The Bananas play in the West Division of the Coastal Plain League CPL. The squad was created in 2016 and has played its home games at Grayson Stadium since then. The Bananas have won the Pettit Cup twice, the first in 2016 and the second in 2021. Since the debut season in Savannah, the team has sold out every game and every location on the Banana Ball World Tour, reaching over 150 sellouts. Because of its on-field antics and viral videos, the squad has been highlighted by ESPN, The Wall Street Journal, and Sports Illustrated. In 2016 and 2017, the Bananas were named the league's Organization of the Year. The crowd outside the main gate gradually thins away, allowing a cheering band to lead the home squad, dressed in bright yellow jerseys through a raucous, high-fiving gauntlet. Banana Land is the home of baseball's most outlandish and hilarious club. Jesse Cole owns the Savannah Bananas. The Bananas compete in the Coastal Plain League, a 15-team amateur summer league where top collegiate players refine their skills and exhibit their abilities in the hopes of getting drafted. Cole purchased the team while it was known as the Savannah Sand Nats, and it was a minor league affiliate of the New York Mets in October 2015. The Bananas have sold out nearly every game since Cole acquired the team, and there is a 15,000-person waiting list for tickets. A 1,200-name list of persons who wish to play or work for this squad is also available. The Bananas have 1.5 million TikTok followers, more than the most popular MLB club and ardent supporters who arrive at the field at 3 p.m. for games four hours before the first pitch. According to a report in USA Today, fans from Illinois, Indiana, and even Alaska drove to Savannah to attend the game. The Bananas have become the best entertainment in baseball, according to ESPN Sports Center. Under the ownership of Jesse and Emily Cole, the Bananas have become a success story since their first season at Grayson Stadium in 2016. The club has established multiple Coastal Plain League attendance records and is now in the middle of a 73-game sellout streak that began in its rookie season. With all the Bananas' remaining home games sold out, the team is on course to extend its winning run to 88 games by the end of the regular season. The Bananas have offered fans an energetic game day atmosphere that emphasizes entertainment since they replaced the Savannah Sand Nats at Grayson Stadium. Baseball purists don't love what we do, but we're not for them. We're for people that want to come on and have fun. Jesse Cole remarked, if we're a live television program and that's what we want to be, we're Saturday Night Live, says the cast. Every night is different and we never know what to expect. People may make or make mistakes and we enjoy it because it's realistic. Every time we open the gates, we try to be real and bring the pleasure back to the ballpark. So when fans come out and see the players having a good time, they see the personnel having a good time, and they see us, the owners, having a good time, they embrace it. The important thing to remember is that unlike lower league and even major league clubs, we and the fans are all in this together. In terms of price and income, it's not us versus them, it's all for one and one for all. Savannah Bananas offer only one ticket, an all-inclusive package that includes unlimited hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken sandwiches, popcorn, and even Coca-Cola goods. 
They realize how costly days out can be for parents when children are involved, so they provide an all-inclusive option at the family stand. The family ticket comes with unlimited drinks and hot dogs, healthy snacks, depending on what you enjoy eating. The Savannah Bananas are a summer collegiate baseball club that plays a circus-style game. The Bananas have worn kilts on the field, had a batter on stilts, danced in tutus, and thrown team-mandated underwear into the stands. This stadium is illuminated with bright yellow shirts. The owner's tuxedo, which he wears to every game, and one set of players' outfits are all yellow. The mascot wears a banana suit and goes by the moniker Split, but of course. The team's theme is Go Bananas. Each night a newborn is selected from the stands dressed in a banana costume and brought to a home plate to be presented to the audience. It's challenging to pick out the craziest among the numerous bizarre happenings. On the other hand, sending a batter to the plate while wearing stilts may be the winner. The opposing catcher is seen in a photograph with his glove extended far over his head. Either he wants the pitcher to keep the ball low in the strike zone, or he can't reach any higher. Players in the big leagues have songs played when they approach the plate. In Savannah, the players each bring a microphone and introduce themselves. I don't think they sing when they walk up to the plate. In recent years, big league baseball has experimented with a variety of gimmicks in an attempt to shorten games. The most obvious of them is starting extra innings with a runner on second base. The Savannah Bananas baseball team are one part traveling carnival, one part Harlem Globetrotters theatrics, and one part neighborhood bar where everybody knows your name, according to J.J. Cooper of Baseball America. Their banana ball style of play features pitching, hitting, and fielding are all similar to baseball, but everything is geared toward making the game faster, more interesting, and ensuring that there is never a dull moment. Games last no more than two hours and ten minutes and are frequently completed in under two hours. Those players, however, are Bananas Hidden Weapons. The Bananas have managed to combine the between innings festivities with the game on the field by forming teams of players who actively want to be part of the spectacle. It allows the Bananas to build a distinctive brand that is not easily replicated, much like the Globetrotters. The Bananas 2025 vision includes plans for a Bananas brewery and a 1926 speakeasy bar at Grayson Stadium. It sets out the plan for the club to hit the road in the spring and bring the baseball circus to other towns. It mentions Savannah's lack of off-season and holding seasonal games such as Oktoberfest, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and a St. Patrick's Day weekend series. It proclaims that the team will be recognized as the greatest place to work on a continuous basis. That will bring together the best individuals to serve the fans. According to the team, fans should expect a steady stream of announcements as the 2025 vision takes shape. The second annual fans giving game is already sold out and preparations for a possible spring series are in the works. Grayson Stadium's contract with the city of Savannah has been renewed for at least five years and most likely 10 years. Historic Grayson Stadium will get $2.5 million from the impending Splost, which will be utilized to modernize the stadium. Everyone seems to be enjoying adding fun to baseball nowadays, and it's evident that the Savannah Bananas are up to the task, implying they will undoubtedly get more admirers and attention in the next few years. They're creating something new, loved by everyone. Soon, they'd be all over the world and on everyone's screens. Check out Baseball Plus for even more amazing baseball videos.